Hey everyone, welcome to the shop. So outside, I'm in the carving tent, getting ready to work on a customer order. They want a four foot bear holding a American flag in one hand and just kind of standing steady with the other hand just down. You guys want to see how that goes? Stay tuned. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna be working on a four foot bear today. Um, similar to some of the other standing bears, similar to some of my other carvings. As usual, when I get a custom order, I like to make sure to shoot a video for my customers so they can see their piece start to finish. So here's the log and uh, the drawing is here. So it's time to throw some gear on and fire up my chainsaws. I'm gonna try my best to uh, do this all today, but it is really hot and the humidity is really high. I'm already sweating my butt off just standing here talking to you guys. So we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna to try to get it knocked out and uh, if I pass out in the midst of carving this thing, we'll just let the video uh, keep rolling, right? Let's fire up some chainsaws. The uh, chainsaw work is done. We've got the fur added from the gouge, and uh, claws are cut out, nose is roughed out, mouth's roughed out. Everything else will be uh, done with the grinders and the flap sander and the torch to kind of clean it up and get them ready for paint. 
Uh, the plan for this guy is to have him be able to hold a flag. Um, might also do this piece holding like a fishing pole with a big fish that says welcome on it. I don't know, kind of just uh, figuring it out as I go, I guess. This is a customer order. Um, they want to be able to hold the flag. I want to be able to do the pole with the fish. The only problem is, is when I got going, in my mind, I was thinking he's got to hold the flag on the right side. He's holding the flag on my right side when I'm looking at him. So I goofed up. Hey, these things happen. The nice part though is I've got a nice big log over there so I'll just carve another and this guy will, this one, will be up for sale. So still going to do the same concept though. This bear will come with a flag and a fishing pole with a large fish that will say welcome on one side. And uh, well, once he's all done I'll grab the other log and knock out the other one. I won't video that whole thing. I'll just have the two completed bears next to each other when we're done. So make sure you guys are sticking around for that. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I appreciate you guys viewing, appreciate the subscriptions and all the thumbs up I'm getting. It's really great. If you guys have questions, feel free to comment below. And uh, you know, it's running like 95 degrees I think right now. I am sweating. So I'm gonna go take a break, uh, drink, couple gallons of ice water grab a snack and hopefully come back with some sanders and clean this guy up see you in a few all right so I took a quick little break to uh, cool off grab some food um, time to get the grinders going on here get his eyes done the nose the mouth shape up these claws and uh, refine the piece so it's ready for paint As you can see, this big guy is looking pretty good. I got his eyes all carved out here. His nose is done, the mouth, ears are cleaned up, claws are all done. He is ready for some paint. Um, I've got some black water-based paint mixed up. I'm gonna put that in my airbrush and uh, start putting some color on this big guy. All right, so you guys get the gist. I gotta finish up that leg, do a little on the face, do the whole back. Let's just get this thing done real quick. So here he is, all done. I got the black all on. I got his eyes painted. This bear is all ready for a finish. I'll end up using a spar polyurethane or spar varnish um, to seal the bear up. That way there it'll help to uh, protect from the elements and stuff. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this carve and this project. Be sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. So this is the log that I'm going to carve the second bear out of. Hopefully correctly this time um, I figure I'll just save you guys all the steps because you basically just watched it all right so there he is he is all blocked out got face done with the saw for now started using my gouge here to add the fur as you can see the texture here I still have to go around the whole lower half with the gouge and get the fur on the back and the belly and the arm over here on this side and then come back through with the detail saw and add some claws and then uh, clean them up with the power tools. Real quick before you go, I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to my channel. When you hit subscribe, be sure to hit the little bell that pops up. That way there you can be alerted when I have some new videos uploaded. I thank you guys again. 
You can follow this link right here to hit subscribe. Check out some of these videos that are popping up, and I'll see you next time.